Good morning. Good morning. Back with a, another update. As you see. Not in the car. Because, again, things have not changed. If anything, it's gotten any further away from <coughs> what I expected. Sorry. Um, if y'all see me throughout here doing this, right? Because the other day, my lips split open. This is ginger. I actually should have put it in the freezer. Um, it helps um, clean it and make it better, God damn it. But if y'all going to do that, if y'all going to put ginger on y'all wounds, you know that shit going to burn. It's going to burn. Um, do, 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 do. I just can't update y'all. How am I feeling today? What am I feeling? I'm feeling like <clears throat> normally this would be about the time that I need to start giving up, right? This would be about the time. Not that one. This would be about the time. And I'm like, you know what? This, ooh, I forgot I had this. Thank you, past me, for thinking about future me. All right, now. Um, so like I was saying, do, 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 do. at this point in my journey, a lot of people just say, fuck it. And I'll be honest with you. Um, I probably have a half a person agreeing with what I'm doing. Which means everybody that I talk to don't agree with it. Don't want me to do it. Don't. And you would never think that the battles you go to, you have to fight everybody to get to them. But if they're that important, you do. If you really, really want something, I don't care who you got to fight. You do it. You do it what you want to do, how you want to do it. I would keep correcting it, but one side is gone, and it keeps coming out, and it's a hell of a bitch to get this motherfucker back in. God damn it, it is. So, it's just going to be cricket until I find or order another one, okay? Mind your business. Um, status right now. Um, in my mom's basement. Which is the last place I really want to be. Because if anybody knows me, they know the relationship that there is between me and my mother. And yeah, I know that's the last place I want to be. But my son is here. So, like I said, that's a good thing. Um, I know y'all can't see or tell. But uh, this is the original basement that I used to be in. Before I got my car. And moved out. No one to tour. So that used to be kind of like my bed area, right? It's a little junky now because I done moved all my shit out. Um, this whole area, well, not that part, but this whole area was my closet area. I actually have a lot of clothes. I have like twelve totes worth of clothes. And yeah, all that's unaccessible right now. This I actually put this over here to move it. But this is where my dogs used to be. I just had two uh, pit bulls. And yep, yeah, this used to be down here. Thugging it. Thugging it, thugging it, thugging it, thugging it, thugging it. Because um, before I got here, I had a house. That's a story time for a whole nother time. We ain't gonna get into that. We ain't gonna get into that. I'm not about to get into it with you. Because I know you're watching me. We just, we just gonna change the subject. Um, so, yeah, um, things are going even further away from what I expected, but I don't care, I don't care, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm not in the hospital, I still want to do what I want to do, um, as far as I know, my transit's out of my car, 
again. I don't know how long I've been making these videos. But yeah. My trans is out of my car. When I'm gonna get one, no one knows. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep, yep. <sighs> my circle, circle, my circle is getting even smaller. Well, it was never a circle to begin with. We wish it hadn't been there in the first place. So, yeah, maybe that's the thing that you think people should be in your life. And it shouldn't have been there in the first place. So your circle isn't going, getting smaller. It's going back to its rightful place in the rightful order. Okay. Um, I have never lost anything that was truly mine. And I never took anything that wasn't. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The friends that have always truly been my friends are still my friends. It will always be. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I love for them. Um. But um, yeah. But I still want to do what I want to do. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. Yeah, my friend called me the other day and she was like, um, how are you going to upload videos when you've been in the car and you ain't been in the car? Because that's my intention. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, but I'm also honest that the night I see me in the car is the night I've slept in the car. I'm April, on thirty days, I might have slept in the house maybe four days. Most of the times was in the car. Not only were they in the car, but <clears throat> they were even in the car that wasn't mine. Um, another thing is, I want to move to Bali, right? Uh, a friend of mine is going on a trip at the end of the year that I'm going to, just to visit. You know that, so I'm going to come on. Um, just to visit. I really want to stay a month. She said about a week, but I really feel like you won't be able to really enjoy the Bali experience in a week. You can go to Miami for a week. You can go to Chicago for a week. You can go to New York for a week. Go to another country. I suggest you enjoy it. But not only that, neither one of us, between us, we don't have a nine to five. We are like hustlers. So we don't have to worry about, oh, if I got a job, I can't come back for a month. That doesn't cross either one of our minds. As long as we have enough money to stay there, we're going to use that. That's, that's it. That's it. Um, I'm not going to roll the camera. That's a good question. But yeah. I guess just to update you. <clears throat> Stuff is going even further than what I expected to go. But I don't care. This is still my focus. It's probably been like a month and a half of me every day trying to do what I want to do and then not succeeding. Yeah. A good month and a half. Like I said, normally when somebody set out something and they haven't seen a spark of what they want, or it's not going nowhere in the direction that they want, they change their mind or they give up. Or maybe this ain't for me. What ain't for me? 
Hmm. Huh. I know you lie. Um, I don't care if I have to sit in one place for a year. I'm going to get to where I need to get. I'm going to go where I need to go. Y'all give up too easily. Y'all don't have no patience. I don't have no patience. You know what taught me patience? Actually, <clears throat> listening to other people. What do I mean by that? Yeah, I'm going to roll my time. Um, also, be careful what you say to your kids because they're going to remember that shit. And I changed my whole life over this. All right, so when I was younger, went to my mom, told her I wanted to be a doctor. She said, okay, that's all cool. This takes about 10, 15 years to be a doctor. It's going to take too long. She decided to be something else. Mind you, at this age, I've only been one doctor for years. For years. It it put everything that I want in one career. Solving puzzles and mysteries. Um, anatomy, health, um, helping people, medicine, knowledge. It put all this, the things that I like in one category. So it made sense for me to be a doctor. So, um, yeah, the Goodwill texted me. And it's not actually like as if it's actually the Goodwill. They let me know when they sell what's going on. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and so that's what I chose to do. If at least a nurse, right? So, went to my mom, she told me it's going to take too long. So, decided to be something else. Don't know what I ended up being. Don't ask me what I ended up being. Because I'm still deciding. Right? At, at the old age of 30. <clears throat> still deciding what I want to be. Um, but I realized maybe like a year after she had said that. No, it was a year. It was like more like five years later. And I was like, yeah, it would have took me 10, 15 years to become a doctor. But what am I doing anyway? What am I doing anyway? Am I planning on dying in 10 to 15 years? Am I not going to be here in 10 to 15 years? Why not spend 10 to 15 years investing in something that I want to be? In the most important roles, I would prefer you to take 10, 15, shit, 20 if you need to. Years in order to do your job correctly. I'm sorry, I don't want a doctor that's been only doing school for five years. The body is way too complicated for that. Later on, right, somebody else told me the exact thing that I had thought about. That I could have became a doctor. And I, at this point, I probably would have been a doctor for a good 10, 10 years now, probably. Because I was smart. And I was also supposed to skip some grades. Up, not down. Up. And my mama didn't like, she held me back, I guess. I didn't repeat any grades. I just didn't jump any, if that makes sense. Mm, so, yeah. And everything is about perspective. So, if I was taught at a young age, still go for your goals and do what you need to do, no matter how long it takes. She would be a lot different. I had to learn that the long way, the hard way. And it cost me years to learn that. But if that perspective was told to me from the get-go, who knows what I would have been. Yeah. But, yeah, all that to say. All that to say. Um... I don't have patience. Let me get it wrong. People are like you have a lot of patience. Let me correct that statement. I don't have patience. I'm stubborn and I'm determined determined to get what I want. And if that certain situation needs me to have patience, well that's what the fuck I need because I'm so determined on getting what I want. You understand me? Okay. And the other time 
I need to get up. I need to go. I need to go do some, get somewhere, be somebody. But if what I need caused me to sit there and watch for a couple hours, a couple days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months for me to get to where I need to get to get to what I need to get. So I'm going to sit there. And a lot of people ask, why me? Why stuff ain't going the way I want to? Why not you? Who better built for this? Are you admitting that you're weak? Like, what? Is that what you're doing? You're admitting that you're weak? Oh. That's crazy sauce. That's what it meant to be humble and to say that I can't do this. It's admitting that you're less than what you are, what you're supposed to be. Yeah. But yeah, I guess that's all I want to say to update y'all. Um, there's no new progress. There's no new motion. But things are still going forward. Um, the other day I had $3. I've got more money to spend this in the day. I have 27 cent, I think. Yeah. They have about 27 cent. Doesn't matter. Did I eat this morning? <clears throat> I have no idea. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. Which means tomorrow's Thursday. Which means somehow, some way, my son's going to get to where he's going to go. He is. Never worry about that. I just know <clears throat> I will be so happy. I am so happy because the universe doesn't know a timeline. I am so happy about all the things that's coming, all the things that I have. I'm grateful because nothing is getting worse. They're just getting further from what I expected. And I know this is a crazy ass goal, but I am determined to sleep in my car. Determined. And maybe I need to look at myself. Maybe I need to be a little bit more determined. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, also, right. Um, I actually have a new schedule um every morning. Because what you're supposed to do is when you have goals or whatnot, you're supposed to Act on them as if this is what you're doing. Whatever you're supposed to set your life up for the things that you're doing every day. So, I know it does not look like it, but I am a gym girly. I most definitely am a gym girly, right? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, I have not been able to go to the gym for a plus or a plethora of reasons. Oh, whatever. And so, um, I'm going to start where I am. I started setting my schedule on my phone, the training the universes or the causes around me to understand that we are going to the gym. We're going to start going to the gym. Okay. Three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So every workout day. I get up at 5 sharp, right? I get up at 5. Um, from 5 to 5.30, I get up to meditate, um, pray, do what I need to do. Um, but no, it's just more meditate and drink water. Read. No social media. From 5.30 to 6, do a light wash up. Um, eat a snack. Do, a <clears throat> do what I need to do. Um, what else? Turn away your ball. Six? Okay. So, from six to six thirty, I'm on my way to the gym, pack up my car in my hair case, get gas if I need to, 
maybe stop at Starbucks if I'm feeling a little bougie, you know. Um, 6.30 to 7.30, workout time. 7.30 8, it's time to go take a shower, get a massage. My day starts at 8. This is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Every day. Um, my 8 o'clock alarm is set up for every day, which means I need to be up and doing something every day. Um, I think I am going to set an alarm for me maybe to get to start doing something before 8 o'clock. Um, the other days. Just, I need to start my day, like, every, like, hair-wise, errands, stuff like that at 8. But I think I'm going to get up around 6 every day. Yeah. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do for them two hours beforehand. But, um, yeah, it's really important to actually start modeling your life after the type of life you want to have. This is the type of routine I want to have. Make sure my pierces is in there. See, my lip is split. Yeah, it went right down the middle. No fucking hurt. I didn't even know my lips was ashy. Hmm. How you don't know your lips was ashy? Anyway. Mm, so, like I was saying. I gotta see if I just had the joint. In the video. I gotta watch it and see. Anyway. Um, I guess that's it for now. I'm just rambling at this point. Um, yeah. Modeling my life after what I needed to be. I could show y'all what's in my Amazon cart, too. Of the things that I want for my car. So, let me know if y'all want to see what's in my Amazon cart. Because I have a good $500 worth of stuff. Oh, and another thing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Last thing. My hair, right? I know I was waiting to June. But I'm actually about to start probably Sunday interlocking my hair, doing my retwist and whatnot. Because I usually put my rainbow braids in in June. So I don't want to start in June. I have to do all this because it might take me a week, maybe two weeks to do so. There's a lot of shit I got to do in here. And I don't want to waste that time. I want a full month of June to have my rainbow braids. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, we're going to start on Sunday with this mess. And that's whether I'm in a car or not. I'm going to start my hair on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and y'all get to see my beautiful rainbow hair. Even though a lot of the color has washed out. I guess y'all can see me put the color back in after I take my braids out, though. So maybe July, August. Yeah. Well, maybe August. Because my friend's birthday is in August. And she, she gay. She do gay stuff. So, yeah. I, I can do that. Yeah. My other friend's birthday is in May this month. Yeah, I have to make sure I tell her happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even she'll probably see this too. But okay, that's that's it for now. That's it for now. Um I'm gonna roll one more time. Yep. Get on my day because I have a client at nine and it's probably almost eight o'clock. So yeah, uh I, I will talk to y'all later. This message is brought to you. By a letter, fuck you. All right. Um. Just keep on keeping on. No matter how long it takes. No matter if it takes years. It'll be worth it in the end. Stop thinking you run out of time. Just who's telling you that?